now with the area's certified, most accurate forecast six years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Time right now is 714 on this Sunday morning. Look outside right now in our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera powered by Pella Windows and Doors in Sturgeon Bay. Cloudy skies, still a couple rain showers in the Dora County area. Notice those winds, a little breezy up in Sturgeon Bay. We're all dealing with these gusty northeast winds here in Green Bay as well. 46 degrees as everybody's starting to get ready for that half marathon. That is ongoing here this morning. All right, temperature wise, a lot of us in the low to mid 40s across northeastern Wisconsin. Here are the winds, and yeah, they are breezy for everybody. Out of the northeast, generally uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour, we've had some gusts over 30 miles an hour so far this morning as well. In Green Bay, up towards Shawano, Anago, 38 miles an hour, and Menominee, and a gust of 30 miles an hour. Up at Washington Island, and those winds stay breezy throughout much of the morning and afternoon. Out of the northeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour with some higher gusts. Eventually, into the evening and overnight, as the storm system passes to our south, those winds then switch out of the northwest so later on this evening and into the overnight hours. In the short term, still some rain showers across the area right now and breezy conditions. Another round of scattered showers and storms possible later on this afternoon. Here's some good news. It does get warmer and much warmer for the second half of this upcoming work week. Right now, we are still dealing with the rain for our northern tier of counties from about uh, Kiwani County up towards uh, Okano, let's say areas around uh, Lane Lake County, and further off to the north and west along the Wisconsin UP border. This activity continuing to move to the north. Further to the south and west, some drier weather, but cloudy skies here early this morning. And again, where you see those darker greens and yellows, that's indicating some of that moderate to at times heavy rain continuing to make its way into the UP of Michigan. So we've had that rain move through the uh, Green Bay area so far this morning, and we are dealing with those gusty northeast winds. So that's causing some flooding issues near the Bay of Green Bay. We just added the uh, newest flood warning for southeastern Okano County areas near the Gano Beach area uh, near Little Swamco also being reported as some flooding issues in those areas as these northeast winds kind of back up that water in the river system trying to make its way into the Bay of Green Bay. So we'll be dealing with some of that flooding here as we head into the early to mid-afternoon. Storm system off to our south and west will make its way into Wisconsin here later on today and give us that next chance for showers and storms late this morning and into the afternoon. So morning rain continuing to move to our north right now as we approach the noon hour. Scattered showers, maybe some thunderstorms develop off to our south and west. Those will move through during the afternoon, and then we'll see those rain showers eventually come to an end as we head through the overnight. See a forecast for today calls for some morning rain, then some scattered showers and storms during the afternoon. High temperatures well below our average high, which is in the mid to upper 60s. This time of the year, many of us will be stuck in the lower 50s here today. And then for tonight, we'll see that rain come to an end with low temperatures near 40. Here's your seven-day planner. We get back into a little more sunshine Monday and Tuesday. Next rain chance Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday. And then mid to upper 70s finally return by Thursday and Friday. The Kagan Allergy Report has pollen high and mold right now is moderate. And if you want more on your forecast, you can find it on the Storm Team 5 weather app. That's free on the App Store and on Google Play. So again, areas near the Gano Beach now, emergency management in Ocala County, mm -hmm. reporting some flooding issues there, as well as areas near Sunset Beach Road, Road in Swamico and right along the uh, mouth of the uh, Fox River here in downtown Green Bay, reporting some high water as well. So if you want to be near the bay here today, uh, probably not a good idea with some of those flooding concerns. All right. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Chad.